Well, if you have been scrolling tirelessly through YouTube, through the web, or everywhere and you've been looking for a video like this, I want to congratulate you because you found one. In today's video, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can clone any website in the world and you can get the login credentials from the username, the email, the passwords and all of those credentials that you might need. Just a disclaimer before you continue to this video. This video is created with a good cause only and please do use the knowledge or the education given to you through this video with a good cause, a good purpose. Do not hack illegally. Do not perform these attacks to anybody you don't consent, to anybody you don't know, and to anybody you don't have permission to, all right? Only do it to friends and families just to mess around with them. But at the end of the day, don't do nothing illegal, all right? I know you understand. Let's continue the video. <laughs> Now once you're back into a Kali machine, because this is exactly what we are going to use, the operating system Kali machine, Kali Linux actually, I want you to go ahead and open up your terminal because this is where everything, all the magic happens in Kali, alright? Let me make the font a little bit bigger so you can all see. And we are going to use a tool called Set Toolkit, okay? Short form for Social Engineering Toolkit. So to do that, we are going to type in sudo set toolkit, alright? There, type in your pseudo password really quickly. Okay, there's launching and social engineering toolkit is already launched. All right, so right now we are going to perform a social engineering attack. So we are going to social engineering attacks, just press on one, press enter. And right now you can either do a spear phishing attack vectors and all those things. But as I said, today's video is all about website cloning and getting the credentials that you need. But also I forgot to tell you this, this link that I'll be creating here, it can be used worldwide. It can be published and be made worldwide. Just stick till the end. Do not miss any second of this video. All right. Now, right now we are going to website attack vectors. Just press in two, then press enter. We will be needing that. And you can go ahead and do all this if you want to. Maybe you want to learn on your, on your own or something like that. All right. But for this video's essential, we are going to use number three. All right. The credential harvester attack method. Just press in three and there. You can use number one, web templates, site cloner, custom import, all that. But we're going to use site cloner because we are going to clone a site. There, IP address for the post bug. This is your IP address, the IP address of your Kali machine, all right? In this case, here, it has already given you, here's your IP address. But if you do not trust it, you can open up a new terminal, IPA. There you can see W LAN O, right? It is a wireless. If it is um Ethernet, you can see it on FO, all right? So here it is my IP address. After you're done there, press enter real quickly. Enter the URL that you wanna clone, all right? Just go with Instagram. There it is. Here is our Instagram, okay? login page and this is the exact page that you are going to clone so that when a person comes here and login either by using their phone number using them or email and they put in their password they click on login boom it's game over we have all their credentials how amazing is that all right so what i want you to do right now is um control c to copy this thing control shift v to paste it there press enter as you can see cloning the website this could take a little bit and it's done all right Social engineering um, toolkit is already done cloning your things. So as you can see, information will be displayed to you as it arrives below. Right now, you are going to open your web browser and you're going to put in the same Kali Linux IP address that you've just put in right there. In this case, it is going to be 10.48.144.52, I suppose. This is the IP address of Kali. Okay, right there it is open in Instagram. And right now, once here, you can just go ahead and type in your username and the password. Remember, this is the site that you are victim. The victim that you send this um, link to will see. So when they just come here, they won't look at anything because right here we are going to put in a real um, URL, okay? Not just an IP address. You are going to make it, um, we are going to host it so that it can be um, accessed with any web browser in any Kali machine or any other machine, all right? It can be a phone, anything. Okay, in this case, they are going maybe to type in their username or if they're using 
maybe gmail or something like that they are going to type in something like that right then right over here come down to their password once we come over here and check out the password it is don't try this at home press enter right over here as you can see there is a problem logging you into instagram please try again soon when they just try again and try again they'll continue and get the same error but in your curly machine the attacker when it comes right over here and start scrolling i am pretty sure the attacker will see um the password and the username that the victim has just put in as you can see the username found it is youtube at gmail.com and right now you can just go ahead and find in for the password you can come right over here we've got a hit printing the output possible password field found and here's the password for instagram browser and the password is actually don't try this at home boom you're done here's the password and here is the username that it is used or it was used so in this case i want to i want to go ahead and show you exactly how you can make a normal link that you can actually host and send it to anybody via phishing email attacks if you don't know how to send a phishing email attack I'll suggest a video at the end of this video and that video will actually teach you exactly how you can send a phishing email attack. So just stick until the end and on screen I'll suggest that video for you. But right now we, I'm going to show you exactly how you can host that um, IP address of yours into becoming a normal link that you can actually send to a person. So in this case you're coming back typing in one, you're coming back and typing in two for okay two for website attack vectors yes then three for credential harvester attack method then two for site cloner and right now you can need to um type in your ip address that was it press enter right over here enter the url that you want to clone in this case i'll be cloning instagram once again so there it is once you come back here in your terminal here you can see here's the URL already copied there. Press enter right over here and it is cloning the website. Boom, it's done. Cloned it in port 80. Now, right now, everything is done. Once we come back into our web browser, put in our Kali Linux IP address, we will access the Instagram cloned and we can get the information put in. All right, but that's not exactly what we want. We want to make a realistic link that we can send to somebody without causing any malicious things because this thing can never be accessed outside your Kali Linux. So in this case, we are going to use something called ng-rock. I know some of you must already heard of it. And here's where we open a new terminal. Then first things first, you wanna go ahead and locate ng-rock where it is. Locate ng-rock because most cases ng-rock can be anywhere and it can differ between computer and computer. So make sure you access it whenever it is as you can see in my case it is at slash user slash local slash bin then ngrock is there right if you don't have ngrock installed it is pretty easy just ask ChatGPT how to install ngrock in your machine or find any of the tutorials on youtube it is very easy to install um ngrock first of all you have to install the tgz file as you can see in my downloads i installed this file then you have to somehow kind of like extract it or something like that anyways let us see the first of all change directory to user local bin where our ngrock is actually located when you press enter right over here you can find ngrock in here so right now we are going to make our local host specifically on port 80 available worldwide so we are going to create a link for it all right so port 80 is exactly where this instagram um cloned site is actually is actually hosted so that when a person enters their credentials, you get everything, right? So in this case, you're going to activate ngrock, then you're going to activate it in HTTP 80. What this stands for is actually this, Um, it is like you are starting ngrock at HTTP 80. This is actually stands for your local host, okay? Instead of writing in your IP address, your full IP address, just type in HTTP, then 80, space 80, this 80 is actually this port number right over here where this, website or the cloned website instagram is actually hosted when you press enter right over here ng rock will start hosting and let me make this a little bit bigger okay 
as you can see right over here ng rock is hosting this thing right over here all right so localhost 80 this is um the thing and here is the forwarded um link so here's the link when you press right over here on this link you can copy all right let me let me highlight it really quickly there copy and i think that's it this link anybody when uh, when wants to access this link can actually access it and can get the privileges that you need now in this case for instance let us go ahead and test this thing come here paste that link right over there as you can see it will open instagram all right as you can see it is opening instagram and this is not just any normal instagram this is actually this thing right over here as you can see it is getting the connections so it it can um it can sense when this link is already accessed all right when it's already um ran into a browser so in this case we can just go ahead and type in the same credentials that we just used before don't try this at home that is your password click on login and then come back right over here and when we make this bigger, I think you might see what you needed, all right? So right now, um, when we scroll all the way up, you can see here's the username, all right? YouTube at gmail.com. Then when you scroll up a little bit, somewhere here, you will find the password. All right, guys, I can see right now that's it for today's video because in today's video, you've learned a lot, all right? You've learned how to clone a website. You've learned exactly how you can actually make that IP address of yours into becoming a link that you can send to anybody in the world. I mean, if this video wasn't of value to you, what else is? And just remember one thing, you can just subscribe, like the channel, or you can just send a super thanks, all right? You can send a super thanks or you can join membership of the channel remember i have membership enabled right now you can become a member of the channel by clicking in on join in my channel page or you can just send me a super thanks or you can hype the video whatever you want to do just go ahead um join the channel if you want to send me super thanks with a comment there and i'll reply to it and all those things because remember in memberships of the channel i post exclusive content the ones that not everybody sees that's what i'm planning to do exclusive content of long form content and of short form content so make sure you join the membership if you want to get more deep into this exclusivity and super thanks to thank me if you want to subscribe like share this with friends and families if you can't um join the channel to become a member at least just share this video if it has actually helped you and i know it had and it has been fun having you here and as i told you at the end of this video i'll recommend two videos for you at the end of the screen one can be phishing email attack video right how to send a phishing email and at the end of the video that video will be there i think i'm understood english is hard guys anyways i think i'll catch you in the next one Cheers.